what's up everybody um i'm gonna do a short video uh fella asked his name was matt i can't remember his um youtube name or whatever but he commented a while back and asked if i'd make a equipment tour video of everything so i did one of the uh, maruka dump truck our cat d5 and our cat 320 and now I'm gonna do one of our 953K and our Bobcat T770. So this is the loader. Um, a lot of people don't run these across the country. There's not, they're not that popular, but where we live in North Carolina, they're pretty, they're pretty popular just for, there's a bunch of smaller excavation companies and you know you can dig a basement with it you can clear lots with it you can grade with it. you can do whatever you need to do backfill with it, whatever you need to so for a small company they're they're a, a good machine um this is a i think a 2022 model maybe but uh anyway in here's the engine compartment there's the air filter um Here's the cabin air filter. That's where the air comes in for the air conditioning and all that. Um, hydraulic filters. What's, it, what's behind this door? Nothing. Okay. Let's walk around here. Here's the radiator. Somebody broke that emblem. They hit, you can see that scratch hit something with it. It was not me. Not me. All right, guys. Anyway, here is your fuel filters, oil filter. Um, that's like an element oil filter. Your uh, main power switch, like uh, what do you call it? I don't know. Main shut off. You check, there's your dipstick. There's where you fill oil up at. This is on the right side of the machine. Here is the fuel tank, def tank windshield washer fluid and all that stuff so it's pretty easy pretty um user friendly accessible whatever you want to call it. this thing's probably got i don't know 15 grease fittings on it you need to grease daily the older models which i've always ran the fuel field or the fuel filler was right there where that door is it was just a neck with a cap but now that's the hydraulic tank that's where you fill hydraulics at I'll get up in the machine um, and show you show you what what it's like inside. So it's pretty dirty, of course, but it's pretty simple. Um, you have your V drive right here, I guess what you call it. That's your forwards and reverse, and here's your bucket. I'll crank it up. You got your parking brake, your hydraulic turn on and off. This is raise, lower your bucket, whatever. It does have a camera up here, reverse camera. Um, as you can see down there, right here, it, we're in park, but it has a uh, a speed adjuster. The old ones just had a uh, the old ones just had a high and low gear, but this one is actually like a dozer. It's got I don't know five or six different gears. But uh, yeah, we don't run this we don't run this loader much. I don't get to at least, but it's a very cool machine. I used to run a bunch of them um the last place i worked that's pretty much what i what i operated most of the time was a was a loader but uh yeah i got a video coming of it soon so uh y'all be watching out for that should be probably the next video after this one all right guys on to our bobcat t770 um i've i've failed to mention the hours on the loader but i think it's probably right around a thousand maybe 1500 um 
this machine i'll open up the back door so you've got your oil filter right here fuel filter right here fuel fill your radiators on top here underneath this cover it lays flat um your def dpf and all that stuff and it does have two cooling fans in the door uh it's pretty basic it's just a bobcat skid steer we call them i call them a bobcat it has a four in one bucket or a combination bucket some people like to call it this is a bobcat brand bucket and the thing i've seen with these is they bend very easily like even with just regular maintenance i guess they're thinner i don't know but as you can see the gap down here it's not right here and it's not right here there's a decent gap in the middle every single one of them is like that so i'll show y'all anybody that doesn't know how to run one i'll show you how it runs so this machine doesn't have a key it has a code um you gotta shut the door sorry for the noise this is your press to operate button this is your auxiliary hydraulics button um which opens up that's a four in one bucket and this uh joystick runs the bucket and the boom just like on the loader but it's a little bit different over here this is just like a dozer forwards backwards left right and it has a two speed rabbit and turtle this thing goes pretty fast um goes pretty fast in rabbit i had to drive it down the road the other day but it has a this is a bucket float i never use it but you're supposed to be able to turn that on and it'll just follow the contour follow the contour of the ground sorry about the noise again and this is a snail mode, creep mode, whatever you want to call it. If you're up close to something, you can press that and that drops the gearing way down so it runs a whole lot slower. But uh, it has a lap bar. You have to pull this down before these work. And yeah, it, uh, it, has, it has probably, I think it has 800 hours, maybe 900 hours on it. We usually get a new one every two years. It's just on a lease program. This also has a quick connect um, for the bucket. So this hydraulic cylinder lifts these arms up and down, which connect the bucket to the machine. You can do all that from inside so you don't have to get out and pick the arms up and down manually. But yeah, other than that, it's just a standard this is like a 289 for anybody that's familiar with cats. It's like a 289 size or a John Deere. I think it's like a 331 size maybe. Um, yeah, so it's the, they make a T870 and a T770. This is the second, the biggest Bobcat you can get. So, uh, it's also called a compact track loader. It's also called a, a compact track loader or CTL, whatever you want to call it. We just call it a skid steer, bobcat, either one. It, it don't matter. There's so many slang terms for these things. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Matt, I hope you see this. Um, you're the one that asked for this and I'm, I'm game for it. So if anybody wants to see anything specific, y'all just comment or message me or whatever i mean i don't know what what else to do i'm trying to do the best i can but uh thank you guys so much for watching commenting liking and everything it really means a lot thanks guys